At some point I start to build up a main battle fleet. That is where most of my forces are concentrated. And I like to use some big ship as the fleet commander. And then when you build your forces, you go into your ship construction outpost. And here it is very valuable if you set up a loop production for new ships. In this case, I'm using a heavy fighter, heavy pirate fighter. I'm just building with garbage quality to save some resources, just get them out there. And I do have carriers, so the maintenance cost is uh, free anyway when they are docked. And then you go to this home base slash fleet setting and just select your fleet commander. In this case, I'm using these Argon carriers here. And then you just start building on a loop. And the fleet will slowly fill up with ships. And this is the most efficient because you're only building one ship at a time. And if you were to build them in large batches, so like 10 fighters at once, you will consume uh, the crew all at once. So if I build 10 fighters, I'm draining 20 people from my population and that reduces my ship construction speed. If I build the ships one by one, you only lose two people and then they can regrow faster, if that makes any sense. So the fleet slowly fills up and the settings that I'm using uh, by the way, you can also see the amount of ships in the fleet settings screen right here and your combat power. This will make more sense when you get a feeling uh, of the strength levels of these ships, but it's only an estimation. So a decent fleet would be maybe about 1000, 2000 combat strength. Then you can take on uh, a, big, a big fleet with cat ships basically. So these loop produced ships, they will slowly join with the fleet. And the settings for my main battle fleet, I like to set the scanning range low, uh, zero or five. And then when I actually want to engage, I'm just ramping this up and my fleet followers will attack. We're not using this setting here. We're handling the engagement with the scanning range. We have auto repair and auto maintain. So our ships will visit outposts on their own to basically maintain their cost level and their health hit pool. When you pay attention to your battle fleet, I recommend to just disable all retreating. That's mostly useful for completely automated fleets, but if you're controlling them yourself most of the time, then you don't want the AI to take control and just randomly move them somewhere. So disable retreat. The rename pattern is what gives us these naming conventions here, these schemes. Uh, those expressions need to have a star and the most common ones would be, so star and then ST would be the ship type. And then uh, I like to add a minus in between and then star and a D for a digit hitting enter and then you have this rename pattern and it will rename your ships with a ship type and a number. And with this option, you get uh, the entire fleet renamed when something changes. So a new follower gets constructed, new ships joining with the fleet, then the entire fleet will be renamed with that scheme. And you can also set up reinforcements. So once your fleet is complete, when you have produced all, the, all these ships with a loop production, you, we, you can set up basically a fleet template at this point, but we're gonna do that uh, later. For now, I just wanna ramp up my power. If you are using mercenaries in your fleet, then you should tell them uh, to escort not the fleet leader, so not Griffin 1, but uh, a follower. So of the other griffins for example. How do we use this main battle fleet? Well you can set a fleet formation. I'm sitting in the fleet commander and opening up the command console and here you can set up a fleet formation like uh, dragon claw or the shield is pretty good and what that will do is your uh, fleet followers will fly in front of you and sort of shield us off from the enemy. So our Griffin carriers, they should move a bit in front of me now. 
and the mercs which are f protecting my fleet followers they will just buzz around here this this path finding is a bit broken but uh, collisions should be rare and when the xenon enter you just ramp up the fleet scanning range and that will trigger an attack on your followers and also the supporting fighters, which might be docked to them. And the mercs will also engage. So in this fight, we probably gonna lose some ships, but uh, we need to stop them because that is our industrial hub, our shipyard sector, and we cannot afford to, to lose this sector. So we just need to go all in. I have hired a lot of mercenary companies with frigates and corvettes and uh, we just need to yeah survive this and stop them and hope this, that the OCV doesn't also come through the gate. So with my fleet commander I'm staying a bit behind because I'm not sitting in the most durable ship and just let my followers handle it and now it's just an all-out carnage And we just hope to survive this. And we just lost a carrier, but the big Xenon ship is dead. And now we only have a couple of frigates, I believe. 